fantastic. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, bad two, bitch one, two. Coming it, through. Mic Everybody check. know just what I do. And if you don't want to get into it too, I know these bad bitches hate on me. And I know these motherfuckers bad at me. And I do what I want. I'm the BIC. And I'm the HBIC bitch. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to another episode of Neon, Neon Thoughts. Thoughts. My name is Juju Lee. I'm Jasmine Zapri L. We're here to give y'all some more tea, honey. Yes, we're here to help you out. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys heard, but the kids on the block, mm -hmm. they call it Riz. Riz? What's Riz? So... You know, the teacher and me, I had to figure I asked that same question. Because they'd be like, you, Miss J, you got Riz, you got Riz. And I'm like, Riz? What the heck is that? But I think it's short for charisma. Oh, I think it's short for charisma. And sense. because Riz is basically having steez, it's having swag, it's having, you know, that extra oomph that kind of draws people into you, where you can be dressed real crazy, but you can still pull somebody the baddest you know mm -hmm. it's because you got that raise you know how to make people laugh or you have that extra thing that like you just know things about different stuff you can put people on that's mm -hmm. that's riz that's how i kind of identify as a girl with riz myself <laughs> do you feel like riz because i'm i'm hearing riz but i'm hearing swag right like riz yeah. swag same yeah i think they're all synonymous it's just you know what mm -hmm. era did you grow up okay so do you feel like Riz is something that you are born with. Maybe it's Do you maybe. feel like something <laughs> that is culture? Like you saw your father, your mom, and how she had Riz, or or like how do people get Riz? Like how do you how do you know how to move and have that charisma? <laughs> sure. That's a great question. So personally, I think it's something that comes out of you, like. No, some people might be born and they just already got the swag, mm -hmm. you know, hop up off the bed, turn their swag on. But um, I think if you really do have Riz, even if you don't have it when you're younger, it's something deep inside you that maybe you wasn't pulled out. Mm. But I do think there's a difference between people who mimic, you know, they can mimic real nice and, and, and play this part, but they're not doing it so well. They don't they, have they draw riz. inspiration. For exactly. The they ain't got the riz. They're not authentic. Now the ones who can set the trend, set the vibe, you know, you come to the party and everybody's looking forward to it, or like you could hit the dance floor, now everybody's dancing. Like, you know, that's something that is just within you. Now, when it is unlocked, that is a different story. I think that's more individualized of when it comes out of you. But I do think it's something that you you have. You can't really, you know. You can't really buy it. You can't really teach it. So, for the, the listeners want to know, because we got some people that don't know how to put that shit on. Listen, baby. We got some people that just don't know how to move mm -hmm. cool. We like, got you. You know, they just sloppy, don't know how to, you know, carry themselves. Like, mm -hmm. Give me some tips. What, what, what can we yes, tell them? You know, and that's how, what we're here for. How to flow in life so yes. you look like you got the riz. You and we're here riz. for you. This is for you. And don't feel bad if you're not sure. I feel like if you're not sure, I told you everything you need to know, first of all. But also, maybe it's just not tapped into you. Because I do think most people do have riz. It's not like this rare thing. I think most people do have riz. If not all. Mm -hmm. But it might not come out in everybody because they're too busy trying to mimic or be something else. You feel me? We all got riz within us. Church say amen. Okay? <laughs> amen. We all got riz within us. Um, so I think the most important thing, one, is, and I know it sounds cliche, but be yourself. And it is very hard to do in 2024 
when we have so many trending trends and so many things and so many words to describe different categories and personifications of who you're supposed to be but if you are yourself living in your authentic truth then what that means is that you allow yourself to feel the feelings in the moment now you don't have to react and act on them but you allow yourself to feel the feelings if you're feeling sad in the moment if you're feeling happy in the moment feeling sad you don't have to put on a personification you can be that um and and find your swag within that i feel like that's the most important thing like be authentic to who you are um if you're more like quirky you're more quiet or if you're more sassy if you're more you know bougie like let that lead your risk mm -hmm. don't try to do what other people are doing because you see that is successful it's successful for them but that's not gonna work for you baby boo because it's gonna come off real weird <laughs> you know and i had to learn that for myself too it's like i'm a mix of a lot of things but when it comes to my riz, I think my, like, dorky, like, eclectic side mm -hmm. is what draws people into me. And that used to be the part that I try to hide. I'd be like, oh, I'm, not, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I ain't got to talk to nobody. You talk to me. I ain't smiling for nobody. Like, you know, yeah. because I'm a bad bitch. Like, when I look in the mirror, I know I'm a bad bitch. And most yeah. people look at me like, oh, she's a bad bitch. I don't want to approach. But then they talk to me like, oh, girl, you're weird as fuck. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, surprise. Yeah, what about her? <laughs> you know, but that be the thing that keeps people wanting to talk to me so once i learned to like shed all of this idea of like just because i like to dress like a bad bitch doesn't mean i can't also be, be the quirky person that i am I and same thing that. if you're sassy same thing if you're more shy same thing if you're more you know whatever like first of all let that lead your riz mm -hmm. that is my number one piece of advice Girl, I think you didn't wrap it up for me because <laughs> I don't got nothing. That's point blank, period. Like, point you said what needs to be said. Like, yes. Let that be you. Let that be your riz. If you wear, be weird. Be like, weird and stand and, on it. I got cowgirl boots on with a corset that looked like it came out of Game of Thrones. Okay? <laughs> but, you know, I put that shit on because that's who I am and that's how I'm feeling right now. You no, know what I'm saying? I, I completely understand 100%. <laughs> but I feel like you're giving the viewers some vital information right yeah. now because a lot of people be trying to put on this mm -hmm. you know they trying to talk to somebody the, yeah. and they putting on this and everybody yeah. can see that you're putting it on yeah it it's, ain't, it ain't it's giving you. boring if it's you're being giving, honest i've been on dates with girls mm -hmm. and more particular because they kind of you know sometimes do this a little bit more in my opinion just from my experience don't come for me <laughs> um <laughs> you know you just gotta let people know you don't want to get canceled no, <laughs> but um yeah, I do feel like sometimes, like, yeah, it's like, girl, you don't want these lashes. Like, I even had to, like, I don't want these lashes on right now. Some days, yes, I'm going to put my lashes on. Mm -hmm. But I don't, like, come on. Like, I don't want them on right Those now. Those are natural eyes the glue, right there. Yeah, the glue okay. is getting stuck to my bottom eye. The wind is blowing out, like... You don't mm -hmm. have to do all those things. Like, that's not even what anybody is looking for. Mm -hmm. It's what makes you happy. So if you're not happy with it right now, don't put that shit on. Yeah. Put on what makes you happy. When you think about Andre 3000, he came out with a silk press and he was wearing plaid. Like, <laughs> niggas want to roast to him, but he stood on his shit and he was Honestly, making his I shit. Think his brand is what kept him alive. Exactly. Like, because he was naturally himself exactly. and naturally, like, because, you know, he got a nice little discography and everything like that, but his brand and the f the fact that he was able to walk in his truth in a mm -hmm. time when people were so hard. I mean, hard. Prince, Prince. All the greatest. Yeah. They stay, like, they have um, Prince. What's his name? Lil Richard. Yes, Lil Richard. And it's, it's, and it's Riz, but they were just authentically being themselves. Like, yeah. they were just walking in there, like, saying that word but <laughs> you want to switch it up we're going to get some synonyms <laughs> right. no that's but they were just being count. authentic they were being authentic and that's the the main thing like so the next thing i want to pivot into is how do you approach someone like how do you approach like somebody off you know yeah 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 at a party yeah. or yeah, in a little house house little party type of session. little kickback session, yeah. you know, like everybody over here and everything like that. Everybody's drinking. Mm -hmm. You see the person you want to talk to by themselves. What are like? We need to talk about what should you do and what should what should you not do. Like, mm. like, Whew. 
This yeah. is a good one. Like, give us the scenario on if you just trying to get the box and the scenario on if I'm trying to get to know you. Yeah. Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> My name is Charlie. Charlie <laughs> Wilson. Now, if you could do that, you got it. You got it. Like, I was wondering. Hey, if I, I could take, take you out. Hey. Tell you a good time. What? If I could take my house. Hey. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get to know you. Like, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, now, that's number one. No, uh -huh. But um, I'm so happy that we're bringing this up because 2023 was a time for me to, like, not be afraid to put myself out there. I think, you know, speaking from a woman as a black woman and a dark skinned woman on top of that mm -hmm. it is not easy to put yourself out there i've never outside of 2023 been the person i'll be like oh yeah i like him i'm gonna go up and talk to hell no he will live in my fantasy in my dreams <laughs> unless he catches eye contact mm -hmm. and this telepathy and come and talk to me mm -hmm. it was just not going to happen mm -hmm. um and, you know, I unpack that with, you know, my therapist and things like that. But <laughs> when um, 2023 happened, I was like, you know, first of all, I'm in New York. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a little different in the dating scene. And also, like, I'm tired of the same guys who going to go up to 10 girls in the club, you know, versus the guy who's sitting over there and not going up to anybody. Like, he's probably the one that I actually want to talk to. Mm -hmm. Is the one that probably is not going to approach every female. Not going to. So, I have to be willing to kind of put my, you know, extend my arm and be like, you know, actually, like, I, you know, like, I'm interested. What's up? How you mm -hmm. doing? You know, because those are the guys I actually do want to chat. So, one thing um, for me that helped me is like, <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> But, like, really just going up and um, just start off with, hey, like, you don't have to have a plan, mm. you know, um, especially when you feel good. Like, I don't know, I look good right now. So, you know, <laughs> like, if I just go up to a guy and I'm just like, hey, and then they'll be like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, I just wanted to say hi. And they kind of be like, okay, like, I kind of get I it. I love that. You know? I love that. I don't that. have a plan. Like, to yeah. act so starch, like, I actually don't have a plan. I just wanted What's to say that? hi to you. <laughs> and um, I was hoping that you can. <laughs> um, you sh that has worked a lot of times because um, they'll kind of get the hint, like, oh, shoot. And also, like, again, I'm not trying to be someone I'm not. I don't know how to approach you, <laughs> I, you know, but mm -hmm. I do want to approach you. So here I am, you know um also like with people like it's okay to just be like you know like i i personally don't like the small talk that's one thing i don't like like hey where you from where are you mm -hmm. going i'm like bro i ain't trying to have I this conversation told the story about 117 right miles. do you want to know like something else like mm -hmm. I, so that that's a no-no for me i don't mm -hmm. like the hey where you from come here often like bro what about you though I think that no, you said some good vital stuff. Um, I think jokes uh, never can fail. Everybody yeah. like a good joke. Yeah, a little hee hee ha ha. Mm -hmm. I think jokes are good, and and not just like come out and be like you know how did the chicken cross the road, but like <laughs> natural conversation yeah. and be able to laugh, being able to. Like, even if the person isn't laughing, and laughing in itself is infectious. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, being able to, you know, laugh and then be like, why the fuck you laughing? Right, right. <laughs> we'll get somebody to laugh. So, yeah. um, I think having Riz is actually, uh, and I'm talking about either, even if you're trying to just get the box or if you're trying to, like, start a foundation with someone or whatever, I think that asking meaningful questions yeah asking meaningful oh. questions like instead of saying to get to know me, nigga, what damn. do you do for work I, I, one thing i try to like what do you do for work is instead of saying that is like what are you passionate about mm. y'all right what, what are you passionate about so don't yeah. ask somebody what do you do for work ask them what are you passionate about because then they get to now they got to get to thinking like damn mm -hmm. you asking me something deep mm -hmm. now i gotta to my crevices you want to get to know me <laughs> you want to get to know me like <laughs> listen baby boy we can talk about this shit yeah, like no, so i agree with that asking meaningful questions like you know if you if you if you see something like you look nice like 
actually, this is probably a gay thing to do, but be like, where did you get those shoes from? Like, you know, where oh, did you yeah. where did you get or that just coat? Just compliment them I'm specifically. Very in, yeah, like don't just be like, I, oh, you look good. You like look what? Good, like, like what looks good about I'm, me? What yeah, makes like, me stand out from all these? Is that people? real gold or like is yeah. that real silver? Like, wh- like where did you? you what get inspires like, your style? I really yeah, like what you got on right now. That's different. From where do you pull inspiration from? So like asking questions that's gonna get that person to kind of like really open up and think uh, like damn like this is a really thoughtful question and i'm I'm trying to figure out how (laughs) listen it's a lot going on but it's all right i'm gonna raise my way through let's go to the next i think i think i gave y'all a lot of a lot of vital information in order to move forward with your crush so I think another really good way to, Mm -hmm. like, talk to somebody that you, like, seen. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think, like, yeah, usually (laughs) I'd be really coming off like, (laughs) I'm so good, I feel like sometimes. I'm either, like, really like, oh, you know, or I'm like, yeah, what's up? But, um. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck is happening this time? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Somebody know what I'm saying. Somebody get it. That's kind of point here. Because one, one of the pet peeves, too, is like when I'm at a club and I dance with this man and he just want to stick with me the whole night, but you ain't buying me no drinks. I'm going to go get some drinks. I was, I'm about to find somebody that's going to buy me some drinks. I'm my thirsty. Hip. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I need you to let go of my hip, sir. Sir, you, sir, you go over there. You kind of like, like you. Not everybody think we go together. Like, we don't go together. Like, no. So, yeah. Please have at least a couple questions. And even if you don't, even because I had this um this man one time. He was, I ain't gonna go into his demographics because that don't matter. <laughs> the people would like to know. <laughs> Off screen, we can talk about it. Okay. But this man, he was. <laughs> no, that would have been a whole thing. Yeah. Um, this man came up to me. <laughs> and he was like, you know, we we chopping it up, we dancing, da da da. He was like, yeah, like you know, the places here, like you know, the bar, they overcharge or whatever. But you want to go across the street and we can like get a bottle. I, I was like, yes. I, I was that. like, can we get some snacks? He said yeah. yes. I was like, oh shit. Because of course, go real quick. Listen, get some chips. Let's don't meet us where we will meet you where you're at, but you gotta <laughs> let us know where you're at. Exactly. So yeah, we went across the street. We got this little bottle because you know what the those you know you can get the little dollar shots or whatever that. Mm. So we got some of those. We got some snacks and we just talk, and it was nice. I love it. It was I so nice. And I came room. back and I was ready to dance with him all night. I was like, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping this kind of point all over me. I, <laughs> oh my goodness! No, I love that story though. That's no, such a nice. <laughs> he had ribs. He, he had, had ribs. And he didn't have all that money, mean. but he was like, you know what? I got you. I don't want like just because I I don't want to pay twenty dollars for a drink right here. I'll take that twenty dollars and still get you a drink and some snacks and we could talk. You know, it was mm-hmm. actually really I'm trying cute. to get the optimal experience. Exactly. I'm trying to get the most out of my coins now. Like, right, and I know, understand, and I understood that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I love it. But what w- what else can we teach the people? What what else mm. do you think the people need to know? So if you're more shy mm-hmm. and you're trying to talk to somebody and you don't want to just go up and be like, hey. And then just stare at them, like, cause your eye contact got to be good when you do that. Hey, so for people who you the know, people in like, the eyes. yeah, you got to look, look them in the eye, the eyes. put that little light behind your eyes, you know, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. But if you're a little bit more reserved or it's your first time doing it, I think sometimes having like a plan as far as like, do you have a lighter? <laughs> you know, something that because if they got the lighter, then it's like they got to stand there and wait for the lighter. You know, mm-hmm. so that would just, it might naturally come up with conversation. Or, mm-hmm. I don't know how people feel about it, but you could be like, you look really familiar. Like, I think I met you. Somebody you did know? that to me once. <laughs> Somebody did that to me once. And I, I was just really like, it, it had, had me figure out, like, where I know you from? They're like, I know you, I know I you. I can't remember your name. You got to stop with that. You know what, don't like, know your first name. <laughs> but like, I can't remember your name, but like, you look really familiar. Like, what's your name again? And just kind of let that be. You know, and hopefully they're not like stuck on any. The, the conversation will start to flow. Mm-hmm. But I think having a plan is totally okay. What you should not do. What you should not do. One thing you should not do. Like it, this really actually gets under my skin is when you tell your friend to go tell the person you want to talk to to go talk to you, bro. 
so many times, especially in the club, they'll be like, oh, my, my, my mans want to holler at you. My mans want to dance with you. My mans want to, oh, where's the mans? Why he ain't come? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Because it's giving, oh, like, you can't approach me yourself. You sending somebody to do your dirty work. Have like, that happened to you before? So many times, especially in New York. So many times. I'm not even lying to you. So many times they'd be like, oh, my boy want to talk to you or he want to dance with you. What? That's the most bitch ass shit. I've that is heard some heard. bitch shit. And I'm yeah. like, if he can't come and approach me himself, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Because like what I look like, what has, I look like. Has a guy ever tried to talk to you and been like, damn girl, you got a fat ass or... I mean, yeah. <laughs> big, dear. I mean, what you want me to do? <laughs> no, nah, but um, but like, no. What I mean to say is that kind of like, does that come off like? Is that a good way to talk to you? Like, is maybe that a way? Twenty one, twenty two. But now, at my big age, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, but so mm -hmm. do most of the bitches in here. We mean the most of the bitches. Which they all got fat asses. No, but I'm just saying, like, so, like Riz and how to talk to somebody, nah, right? Like, nah. And what not to do, what yeah, not to do. Yeah, that's a not to do. So you don't tell that's, somebody that they got a fat ass. Do you mention anything about their physique if you're trying to kick it to somebody? Like, do you, like, um, like, I guess it damn depends. girl, you got a banging body. Like, like I guess it how does that make you, you feel? You like, it's just trying talking. to, mm -hmm. you know, da 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 for one night or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but you gotta be sure that that's what that person's on. I think nine mm -hmm. times out of ten, that's not really doing much because so, you tell me my body look nice, like bitch, I know my body look nice. I put this shit on, like I mm -hmm. put this on to show my body look nice. Will you not tell me nothing new? You got your whole hat on now. Now, now we got your whole hat on. You <laughs> and you just trying to like, <laughs> you just trying to like, you just trying to fuck around like, in like in your whole mentality that you're just trying to get something for the night. Somebody comes at you like that. Is that still appealing? Like, is that still like you know, like damn girl, like you got fat ass. I'm trying to get with you. Like, not if that's all you're saying. If that's what you first say, I mm -hmm. might let it rock. Uh -huh. But you're gonna have to come up with something more because again, mm -hmm. I know I look good, and also I know wherever I'm going, there's gonna be people who also look good. So, what's making you want to talk to me? Mm -hmm. It is for me personally. It is more of a skis. It's more of a flex. If you say you like my outfit, mm. you like how I literally put the shit together. Take those people rather than you like my body because it's tits, waist, ass, legs. Everybody in here got that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so like, tell you me. Hate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for so tell me what it is about me. It might just be the cancer in me. I don't care if it's a one night. If it's a forever thing, like I need to know what it is about like, me. What make about it beautiful. Me? Make it beautiful. Yes. Make it meaningful. Like, like at least say you like my smile because my smile is unique. You know, I, I love that. something like that. I have mm -hmm. a gap for those who don't know. So it's like, like at my. least give it something else. But if it's just my body, for me personally, that's not enough because that ain't nothing. No. So another. Okay. okay, so we talked about dating, we talked about...